What's going on guys? This is Poker Stacked and I'm going to be talking about online poker strategy going into 2020 and beyond. Okay, so poker is a game that's always changing. There's no doubt about that. Now I'm going to be going over a couple hands that I got into. They were pretty crazy. Uh, they were on Bovada. Now I'll have a link about the description. If anybody out there wants to get started here, I would recommend it because the games here are pretty soft. Um, you know, they have a huge player base. They do 1.5 million in weekly tournament prizes. And I love the software for playing. Now I was actually playing on my phone in these two games we're going to be getting into um but i had pocket tens on one hand and then the other hand i had king jack suited now in poker you know nothing's guaranteed obviously you're gonna to have to take risks at times um you know sometimes you're going to be behind and then you know you're going to come out a winner other times you know you're going to be ahead and you're going to come out a loser i mean it just happens you know aces get cracked kings get cracked against queens you know pre-flop things kind of just happen sometimes but you know my recommendation to get better at poker, uh, play fewer hands. I, th I think that's a big thing for most people. Play fewer hands and play fewer tables. Now, if you're somebody who likes to multi-table a bunch of tables, try to keep it to like two. When you do that, it just helps you focus so much more. You can start to, you know, make decisions, you know, uh, a lot better you can pay more attention to what you're doing which is important and you know that's how poker is because sometimes you have to put bluffs in but you got to be sure that you're making the right bluff at the right time sometimes you got to slow play you got to make sure you're slow playing a hand at the right time and you know vice versa so anyways uh i took down the hand there with the uh, pocket tens but the hand i really wanted to focus on was the king jack suited which we're going to see in just a second it was an absolutely crazy hand and i'm going to kind of break it down slowly for everyone so i can kind of go over my thought process for it because you know i did have to actually take a risk uh you know to take down the pot here but you know that's like i said how it is sometimes you gotta take risks so anytime you've got you know two high cards suited you know it's very enticing to see a flop but we had one guy pop it to 13 bucks and uh you know player a couple of the other guys here are, are going to fold, but when it comes over to me, you know, I take like a second to think about it because it is kind of a big raise in a fifty cent dollar game to be calling like a ten dollar raise uh, pre flop with a king jack suited. But you know what? I just had to do it. You know what I mean? I, I had to make that call. Um, so we are going to see how it plays out uh, shortly here. But yeah, player player six is going to fold, and so is this next guy. But when it comes to me, like I said, I. You know made the call i thought about it you know i was like hmm, do i do i want to put 10 more dollars into this hand but i figured you know because uh player five called maybe player three will call and you know that is what's going to happen here so <clears throat> we are going to go to a flop with this one all right so check out this crazy flop all right we've got queen 10 king now i've got the up and down straight draw here if anything i put player four on maybe pocket aces uh, possibly pocket kings, but I mean, he's very strong. He re-raised the $10 pre-flop. So I know I'm behind here, but I was trying to figure out how many outs I would have. And, you know, I put it at about, what, eight outs? Uh, probably I was going to need, you know, um, you know, an ace or a nine. I didn't put him on ace jack. I actually put nobody on ace jack in this hand. But be as it may, player four decided to bet you know 33 dollars at this so i mean it was kind of one of those situations where you know you got to go all in to win i mean that's what it's going to come down to here as soon as he makes his bet uh i also had you know a couple back drawer uh flush draw possibilities if it you know turned into a flush draw on the turn so i kind of really just felt like i you know definitely had some outs here no doubt all right so we're just getting you know amped up right here for what is about to happen because it is some craziness and, you know, poker is just a game where, you know, you got yourself in tough situations and you got to figure out if you want to get it all in. And, you know, we are going to get it all in here in just a second here. So $33 bet, you know, very juicy bet. You know, there's only one way to go here. He's letting everybody at the table know, look, if you, you know, want to play with me, you got to put it all in because I am not folding. So, you know, like I said, thinking about my outs here, and, um, you know, I had a little bit of time to think about it. So it wasn't like it was just an insta, you know, an insta call or an insta shove. But I had to knew, know here that, you know, this is it. You know, I'm going to I'm going to go for it and, you know, I'm going to hope it uh, works out for me. And 
shockingly, it did. So, uh, you know, as soon as this guy folds, I'm going to end up thinking about calling, but I ended up just kind of like shoving because I figured 33 bucks. I mean, what am I going to do on the turn? Even if the turn's a blank, I'm still kind of pot committed at that point. Plus, there's all that other money in there. And it's like, you know, you got to just you just got to show, you know. So let's just uh, wait for this guy to fold, which he, you know, I guess he had to think about it a little bit. He's like, hmm, do I want to call a $33 bet? Do I want to get it all in here? And he folded. And this is where I come over the top knowing I'm, you know, probably behind, but, you know, I, I had some outs, so <clears throat> switched over to my other table real quick to see what was going on, but nothing really happened in there, and, uh, you know, here's that, that shove. All right, a nice, juicy all-in for everybody. All right, so player three is going to get out of the way. I mean, he didn't really have much money left. I would have probably just got it all in there with anything. I mean, as long as he had some kind of out. But, you know, he's going to end up folding it, saving his, what, measly like 16 bucks left at this table. I don't even know what he's doing in here with 16. Okay, but player four is obviously going to make the call. He bet 33 bucks, and he has ace, king. And uh, check it out. So the turn card is going to be a blank, right? Look at this blank. Now I'm kind of sweating a little bit, but check out this river. Oh, dang. All right, he two paired it. You know, I got my uh, straight, so I knew what I was getting into. And, you know, I took down a nice little pie right there. But anyways, you guys, hope you enjoyed some of the gameplay here. If you could, uh, you know, smash the like button on this, um, you know, subscribe to the channel for more poker content. And we'll see you in the next one.